What's poppin' Connor High? Today is August 29th, 2019. I'm Amir. And I'm Melly. Today we'll be talking about Hurricane Dorian and Ed Sheeran's break. So, so, so stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Carson McGrew will be expanding to spring with a new theater plan for the mixed-use development city place. The new theater will be officially opening on September 20th at 1495 Lake Plaza Drive. In a statement made by Jason Ostro, the vice president of development at Starson McGrill said, quote, We look forward to becoming a destination for film, food, and fun that further enhances this quickly expanding one-of-a-kind community, end quote. The theater will contain 1,200 seats, 10 screen sites, and a central bar and lounge area. The theater will also have premium pods with heated seats with food, drink, and blanket services to customers who wish to upgrade. Sounds like an amazing experience for the family. In more recent celebrity news, Ed Sheeran is taking a two-year break due to legal troubles. The surprising news came about two weeks before his scheduled court date over allegations that he, he ripped off Marvin Gaye's 1973 hit, Let's Get It On, on his 2014 track, Thinking Out Loud. The 28-year-old singer took it upon himself to announce his two-year break on his 216th show after singing You Need Me, I Don't Need You. Hurricane Dorian is forecast to hit Florida Monday as a Category 3 storm. So if you have family or friends in Florida, make sure to tell them to stay safe and stock up just in case. Thursday, the storm will slowly approach land, meaning it will release more rain and bring stronger winds across Florida. For more information, stay tuned for weather. Today's guest at our school is an AP by the name of Mr. Dupre. How are you doing today? Oh, doing well. Um, so pretty much we know you're an AP, but can you tell us what you do around the campus? Well, pretty much about anything and everything that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, working with kids, working with teachers, uh, helping move things around uh, for, for meetings or whatever we're pretty much asked to do. We're jack of all trades. That's about best way to describe it. <laughs> um, so in order to get this job, I'm pretty sure you had to go to college. Which, yes. which college did you attend? Well, I got my uh, bachelor's degree in music ed from Louisiana State University. Duh, Tigers! <laughs> Um, and then as I was a band director for many years, uh, you know, my heart was pulling towards helping more and more others uh, go into administration. So I got my master's in educational leadership at Sam Houston State University. So let's say if a kid would like, have a problem and would want to see you, who would you help like alphabetically? Like, alphabetically. With students? That's, that's a real good question because last year my alpha to this year has changed drastically because we added another assistant principal right after me. So he acquired a lot of my students, but my alpha is FLP to HOL. Okay. So um, what's your favorite part about the job? Oh, I love everything. Just coming in, interacting with people, mm -hmm. and um, uh, just seeing the, the growth in, in people, students, and definitely when you guys participate in your, your activities. I, yeah. I really love just watching y'all do your thing. <laughs> so we knew you were a band director before mm -hmm. you had uh, came here to be an AP. So which job do you like better? Oh, man, what a question. Uh, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. You kind of don't know what you're going to get. And mm -hmm. becoming an AP, uh, this would be the last thing I would have ever seen myself you know, going into. Because I was that little pebble in teacher's shoes, especially in uh, middle school, because, uh, you know, growing up in a, in a struggling family and, you know, a hard family, a hard life, uh, it was education and teachers that had a difference in my life, um, and band and soccer kind of got me through high school, and then it got me th thinking about becoming a teacher. And I loved everything about, you know, all being a band director and working with others, but the more that I worked with, um, especially at-risk kids, uh, and just others and people in general, you know, I, my higher calling just seemed to be, you know, to move up in terms of yeah. administration. So uh, when I kind of look at the big journey, it's, you know, I, I love it all, but I can honestly say that, you know, this is, I believe, my 18th graduating class here at Conroe High School. Um, 
I still love it as much as I did back then. Mm -hmm. you know, I love seeing that growth in the students, you know, especially from 10th grade all the way to when you guys walk across that stage. You know, that's, that's always still my defining moment. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Group. All coming right. Thank show. you. Thank you. Good morning, good people. I'm Gabe, your weather anchor for today, and let's get right into it. As you can see, the high for today will be 93 degrees and the low will be 74 degrees, being partly cloudy. Also, you can see on Friday that the high will be 94 and the low will be 75. Saturday and Sunday will be a bit of both, sunny and a chance of rain showers. So keep an umbrella handy. And for next week, it will be fairly nice to go swimming. At first, Dorian was a tropical storm moving at 60 miles an hour and 50 knots moving west towards north of the islands. Now, that is a hurricane, it's headed to Florida, and there's a possibility that it will hit Texas, so stock up and be ready for anything. Now, right now, it is located at 14 degrees north and 61.2 degrees west. Now for the fact of the day. Mobile bees can fly higher than Mount Everest. Now we'll take it to a quick commercial break. I'm glad my mom dropped me off this night. You know how I stand in the cafeteria and eat the food, like, right? there's no food in the castle. Hi, Mr. Bean. Hey, Bean. Is that food in your hand? Um, I thought we were cool. Can I eat in your class? No, bro. It's no food policy here. Sure, I told you can't cheat. I should have ate in the cafeteria. You think? The Dog's Way Home is the story of the extraordinary lengths a dog will go to in order to get back to their family. Every year, millions of dogs and cats end up in shelters and rescue groups. We found our Bella at a shelter in Tennessee. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover they're all pure love. <laughs> adopt pure love and help a shelter pet find their way home at the shelterpetproject.org. We wanted to finish up our newscast today with a few announcements. Boys soccer team will be having their first fundraiser this Friday at Raising Cane's. So after school or on your way to the football game, stop by Raising Cane's and be sure to tell them you're with Conroe Soccer. Student football tickets will be on sale during all lunches at the Prop Print Store. They are, four, they are $4. Also, do not forget your Camo Day t-shirts as Camo Dress Up is Friday. Yearbook pre-sales are going on now. This Friday, the Flair will be selling yearbooks and face painting for Camo Day during all lunches in the cafeteria. Get your yearbook for only $60 now before prices go up next Monday. The FFA will have a LDE competition meeting in the AG01 Thursday after school. Calling all future teachers. Do you ever wonder what teachers do during their conference time? Come to the first meeting of the Texas Association of Future Educators to find out our first Taffy meeting is Tuesday, September 3rd in room 220 at 245. You must be currently enrolled in a CTE course. This summer, the orchestra competed in the Texas State UIL solo and ensemble competition, which was held in Austin. There was a record number of students who won the preliminary round to qualify for the state competition and at the state competition those students won the following awards uh, superior rate gold rating gold medal winners Joshua Gonzalez, Alia Managan, Manuel Meza, Ke Kelsey Webb, Jason DeHoyes, Mariah Ma Masha, James Blair, Garrett Thompson, and Caitlin Zelenik. These are the excellent rating silver medals winners. Alex Pemberton won silver for two events. James McDonald and Melanie Gwen won silver for two events. Mary Rockefort won silver for two events. And Chan Gwen, Colin Edwards, and Jolene Johnson won also. The, gold, the good rating bronze medal winners are Melissa Rojo, Veronese Vasquez, and Emma Suya. Great job, orchestra. The next DECA meeting will be Tuesday, September 3rd at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. We will start picking out competitions and tell you all about the fun activities for the year, like attending the Houston Rockets game. If you missed the first meeting, that is okay. You can still attend this one. Pep Riley wristbands on sale Wednesday through Friday. The cost is $1 and will be on sale during the lunches in front of the auditorium. Cosmetology will be back doing braids in front of the auditorium for Camo Day on Friday during all lunches on on a first-come, first-served basis. Stop by to be Pep Rally ready and see what cosmetology has to offer. A $1 donation is greatly appreciated. 
Homecoming King and Queen nominations will be September 3rd through September 5th. Nominations will be done through the government economics classes. Only seniors can nominate and be nominated. If you have questions, please see Ms. Skeleton in room 308 in the annex. Book club will be holding their first meeting of the year on September 4th in room 252. If you love to read and would like to know more about the book club, see Ms. Guerrero in room 252. Are you interested in community service opportunities? Interact Club will be holding its first meeting in Wednesday, August 28th in the cafeteria. See you guys there. The Hills Club's first meeting of the year of 2019-20 school year will have fun games as well as food and drinks. We will discuss all that is coming this year like some of our community service projects and school projects for few members who would like to join. We will be providing information on how to join. Also our Instagram, Twitter and Remind will be shared if you like to keep up with what we are doing. We will be at both campuses room 403 at the freshman campus and the LGI at the main campus. And lastly, it's Twitter poll time. Yesterday's poll was a classic rival. We asked you Samsung or Apple. Results are in. Apple won with a 71% of the votes. Samsung was way behind with only 29%. You Apple fans out there, get ready for new Apple products released next month. On today's Twitter poll, we are asking you who is your favorite music artist. Out, Ed Sheeran, Billie Eilish, Post Malone, and Lil Nas X. Make sure to go to KTIG News and rip for your favorite. Before we go today, we wanted to apologize for our bad audio on our game time segment this week. We thought the game was too much fun not to share. Ste steps have been taken to make sure better quality of sound next week. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTIG News on all social media and our YouTube channel. As always, CHS starts strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in on Monday for more KTIG News.